Alright folks, hello and welcome back to Space Rangers 2. Uh, we're doing the training RTS uh, mission. So here goes. I will be your instructor. I will teach you how to wage combat on the ground. You are given one robot production facility in which you will build a small robot army. The color of your robots is yellow. The enemy robots may be red, green, and blue. These are the main colors of the Dominator series. There are training targets in front of your base before you move into action. Take manual control over the one of the robots and learn its movements and combat abilities. Then move forward and capture a couple of factories that your enemy uses to process their resources. This will not be easy. All the mock-ups are combatants and they will pose resistance. At the end of your route you will see the main enemy base. Break down the resistance there and order your, robo your robots to take over. Charge our Amazon! If anything happens, summon the reinforcements and our hel helis will deliver the best robots to you. That's a lie. I never give you the best robots. Anyways, here's the uh, RTS uh, game. Controls are rather simple. Uh, middle mouse button allows you to... Um, holding it down will allow you to move. I think it's actually beautiful. Uh, the, the seeing the, the space, I guess, from it. And it does vary. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's probably a good one. Um, yeah, you can also just scroll it for the tilt. Um, okay. Uh, obviously, arrow keys move. Here's the training part that, uh, uh, that they told us about. There you go. And there's another little bit for training here. But that's really... Yeah, it's neither here nor there. Um, now the main thing we need to do is we have to destroy this base here, okay? Um, not this base, sorry, these are, these are production facilities. Uh, and then this is a production facility. And then this is a base. You can tell the bases from those, that's what you need to capture. Uh, he'll be able to make robots from there until we capture it. Okay? Um, so let's get right into that. Our four resources are up here. Titan, micro modules, energy batteries, and plasma. So let's start by making some robots. Robot builder. Now I don't usually waste time with anything other than full stack. Even though it's the most expensive. As you can see the cost. The cost rise and that's the total cost right there. Uh, this is one of the cool aspects of the game is you can really customize things. Um, so I'm going to go with plasma guns. And rocket launchers on top. I think that's a good way to go. Um, for the module, um, I've like I've gone with Dynamo quite a bit lately, but I really would like I'm, I'm playing around with with Locator to see if that makes a huge difference. You know that extra 20% range. Um, the mortar, you just get it. Don't think about it. Just get it on everything. Uh, that's probably not bad. Um, the high speed acroplane. Mind you, the Oh, there you go, very high speed. Yeah, let's just go for the anti-grav. As you can see, this is ridiculously expensive. I'm not going to be able to sustain this for a long time. But let's do it. 310 structure, 122 damage per second. That's beautiful. I mean, this is just a quick, simple training mission. Uh, the other thing, too, is you can build defense turrets. We've already got uh, two turrets here. Those are just the basic ones. Usually, I build missile turrets. Laser turrets are also nice. Heavy cannons are awesome, too. Really, they're all great. Um, I guess I'll build a heavy cannon just for fun. Uh, let me demonstrate while we're waiting for them to be made. And you can see that they get made really quickly. If you press the space bar or click on there, you go into manual control. Um, you know, which can be really useful, um, particularly because uh, you'll you'll notice that the robots tend to move past their minimum range uh, so that things can hit them, which is really unfortunate, but it's just a new way of the game. If you use it like this, you can, um, you know, and you can also zoom out, scroll up, um, yeah. And uh, WASD works as well. Um, anyways, yeah, that's it. Great, uh, great little bit. Exit. So you basically use that to destroy turrets safely without getting anyone hurt. Uh, one more thing I do want to make is a repair robot. Just full on repair. Uh, you don't want to mix weapons with the repair because it won't uh, it won't do that. Uh, actually, I don't think we need we need a mortar. Nothing. That's good. Let's just make a repair robot so that he's not in any way a fighting robot. There you go. Uh, control 2 for him. Uh, control 1 for these guys. Oh, get up there, buddy. Hold down shift. Control 1. There we go. Now you can see these guys are super fast. I'm going to 
hopefully get them to crowd up a bit. Uh, one thing about crowding is that mortars will hurt them all, which is unfortunate, but whatever. The extra range should be helpful, as you can see we're already getting hurt. But, boom, absolutely destroying them. They're coming at us, which is great. Boom! Nice. Very nice. Okay, we're just going to take all of them forward together. And we're going to move about here. Um, once we start to get into range, have them all attack. I pre press A and click on it. That makes sure that they all attack the same thing, which is really quite helpful. Okay. Now, you right-click on that. They'll capture. As you can see, we've got that one guy uh, standing on it. It's your standard capture type mechanism where you see the circle fill up. Uh, first remove and then fill up. Okay. Come down here, buddy. Get prepared. Okay, now we're gonna... You can see a uh, large range of the missile turret. So we're gonna build that missile turret there. Might as well build this one just for fun. Um, now here's what I'm gonna go for. Let's see if we can do this. Should work. Right. So I'm just luring them right now. Normally this isn't a thing. Robots don't usually stand guard like that or stick around. But yeah, this allows the missile turret to help out. Um, yeah. There you go. Haven't lost any robots yet, so that's nice. We can build one more for sure. Down here. Every time you capture one of those, uh, you get to build one more. See, your max uh, cap goes up. Ready. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and they're done quick. So bring them up. Obviously, the speed is really expensive to have good speed, but that's part of the reward of the good speed is that you can bring up your troops a lot faster. Oh, come on, guys. Get together. Get together. Let's move. Let's move. Actually, if we go capture target, that might help. Oh, you... Alright, just that one guy, good. Uh, this guy should be up here now. I think we've actually got enough to win this from here. Um, we'll just build that one more turret. Gang up all these guys over here. Enemy plant captured. Let's try a heavy gun. Probably a bad idea, but whatever. I've noticed the heavy guns tend to do really good damage if they hit, and they actually have pretty good uh, range as well. type of robots can do. And I, I've actually found this setting to be the best, is the two rocket launchers on top with the two laser beams. I find that to be a very happy thing. We're just going to turn on the capture program. We're probably going to lose a couple of them in this attack, but that's fine. Hey, you know what? We might not. I'm oh, just kidding. We don't. Oh, we did lose the one. Okay. That's okay. I'm pretty sure there is friendly fire. Anyways, there you go. He captures. And there you go. These are the automated programs. So if you select them, they'll automatically just do it. So, all mock-ups have been eliminated. Good job, Aramazon. Have some rest now, and in the morning, report to the government house. Sweet. And there you go, you can see it. Took me 10 minutes, 43 seconds. Slightly longer, because I uh, tried to explain it. You think my best time is like 6.43 or something. There you go. We didn't lose any robots, so that's nice. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, and this will continue in the next video, which um, we'll pick up from me getting rewarded for this in the actual game so yeah this is the rts and i hope you enjoyed it uh, later on they get really intense quite fun actually and that's one of the best parts about 
uh, Space Rangers 2 is that it's essentially a bunch of different games all put into one and made into a really good game, you know? Um, so, okay, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time on Space Rangers 2.